you have to know few sections of the embryonic disc. So initially the embryonic disc will be circular around in shape as the growth increases they become oblong that is the cephalic end grows further and they become broader and the caudal end becomes narrower. So here this is a clay model showing the three germ layers the blue one represents the epiblast which later forms the ectoderm then the red one represents the intraembryonic mesoderm and the yellow one which was hypoblast before gastrulation later gets converted into endoderm. So these are the three germ layers which are formed after the gastrulation. Okay, so you have to know a few of the sections. So this is the cephalic end, this is the caudal end. So in the pictures sometimes they might take a sagittal section. The sagittal section is taken like this where you can see both the cephalic and the caudal end okay and some sections are transverse section in order to know so this is a transverse section so if it is taken at here the transverse section and if it is detached like this so you can see the ectoderm layer the mesoderm and the endoderm okay so it is reflected like this. This transverse section is taken and it, if it is reflected, you can see the picture will be shown like this. And in the center, you can see a whitish color area, which is called, which is the notochord. Okay. So as I told, the besoderm are not formed in three major areas. One at the cephalic end where the oropharyngeal membrane is formed. One at the caudal end where cloacal membrane is formed and one at the center where the notochord is formed. So this notochord induces the overlying ectoderm to form the neural plate and this neural plate later forms the neural tube which is present which will be formed above the notochord. Okay, so this you have to remember the sections because if you understand the section it is easy to understand the concepts of embryonic development. So I would like to show even in a paper model. So this is the disc. So if you imagine there are two balloons, one on the up, which is called the amniotic sac, one below will be the yolk sac. So if you take a cut section here, cut the balloon here, you will see the disc. Okay. So here the color have changed. So the pink one represents the ectoderm. The red one represents the mesoderm and the yellow one represents the endoderm. So this is the disc. Okay. On the surface of the epiblast, there will be formation of primitive streak. Okay. So when you see here, this is the mesoderm. As I told, the mesoderm are present are over. They are they migrate laterally and cranially and they separate the overlying ectoderm from the endoderm except at the three areas where the notochord is formed one at the oropharyngeal membrane the other one which will be caudal which i have not shown here at the caudal area where the cloacal membrane is formed so this is how the disc is present in the embryo